We are joined by two fire chiefs from the volunteer combination officer section. We have Chair Chief Chuck Flynn and member at large Chief Al Yancey. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. So 25th anniversary of VCOS. Tell us what some of the new initiatives are this year. So, well, so the volunteer combination officer section, we've been around 25 years, which is a huge success for us. Um, so we're celebrating that, obviously, um, for our membership and uh, the whole board, actually. Uh, we have a 25, uh, 25th anniversary uh, coin that we're handing out. Very cool. So we'd like to have that on our behalf. Uh, we've got a new initiative coming out that we worked with our partners in the EFO section on, uh, dealing with the new, you're the new chief. Now what happens, Chief Yancey will talk about that. We're continuing to upgrade our education programs. Um, they're going through rewrites right now. Uh, that are offered out to our membership and beyond hoses and helmet. We don't know what the next title will be, but we're looking at that right now. Fire rescue organizational guidance. Our websites are constantly being updated and we're in social media. So we're trying to keep our members and those abreast of what's going on in the U.S. Fire Service. Fantastic. And Chief Yancey, I understand that you have that new guide. You're the fire chief. Now what? Explain how this resource is going to help fire chiefs. Yeah, we uh, developed this this year. This started a project in November for us, uh, again, as Chief Flynn mentioned, a partnership with the EFO section. And the idea is that we really didn't have anything out there to guide a chief into transitioning to being a new chief or even an interim chief, maybe it's short term, and what kind of things would they need to know when they're going into that position. And I know for myself that uh, this would have been a great resource when I went into becoming a chief. So we're happy to be able to provide a guidance document. And explain some of the other educational offerings that Chief Flynn was mentioning too. Yeah, we have um, <clears throat> several courses that are offered at little to no cost for the VCOS membership. Uh, Beyond Hoses and Helmets is one of them. Uh, we have the FROG program, which is organizational guidance. Um, we have a program about leading transition, going from volunteer into more combination, those kind of things to help. Uh, a, a chief or organization move into that transition. Um, also, we have an I, ISO program that we're doing uh, to help people understand a little more about the ISO process, the changes in the insurance service office uh, guidance and grading process. So, several courses that we offer just need to contact the BCOS about uh, hosting one in your local department. Okay, and health is very important, obviously, to VCOS. In the past two years, you've released two health reports, the Yellow Ribbon Report on Mental Illness and the Lavender Ribbon, Ribbon Report on Cancer Prevention. Uh, talk about what the next steps are in regards to health. Sure. So, actually, with both reports, the Yellow and the Lavender, we started education programs. Um, the Yellow Ribbon, there's like three separate courses set up. One is for the executive summary, you know, quick hit one hour class to start people thinking about behavioral wellness and keeping our people mentally prepared in their wellness and they're not just us in society also and realize that this is something everybody suffers from. So and then there's a two hour class which is more of an awareness level for that incoming firefighter uh, to get the department to understand that it's not just them they have to get the families involved and engaged and then the last course more or less like an operational is how do you set up a good wellness program. We've done the same thing working with our, some other partners in the NVFC, especially the National Volunteer Fire Council, and working on the best practices for preventing fire, uh, firefighters' cancer. And the same thing, they've got classes on how to set up programs and what we should be doing. We're constantly releasing upgraded posters and information on how to, to maintain the health of our firefighters now and into the future. And where can people find all of this information? Everything can be found at vcos.org. Um, there's plenty of links to the different pages. Uh, Volunteer Workforce Solutions will tie into which is another program we work on as far as retention and recruitment of firefighters within the United States, both career and volunteer, because we're suffering the same way, trying to get people engaged. Chief Flynn, Chief Yancey, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. Have a great day.